Hey everybody, is this the last? Oh no, I've been cucked of the year. It might be. It might be a very special, special episode of Oh No, I, I've Been Cucked. But this one, guys, was submitted by Bobby Bitch, 1993, two days ago. And it's titled, My Fiance and I Tried Polly. It broke us up. We had talked about Polly quite a bit for the last year. My ex, we'll call her E, was convinced that she was Polly and wanted to explore different loves. <laughs> Bobby bitch is already knocking it out of the park. After long hours of talking things over, we agreed on starting boundaries. On starting boundaries, I guess. And what we were each okay with. We opened our relationship in October and things were really great. Like better than in a long time. <laughs> Uh oh. If you have to say things were really great, that means they get really bad. But then she started to become more and more distant as the days went by. Who saw that coming? Certainly not me. I tried to figure out what was wrong and talk about it, but she stood behind her. But she stood behind her? What? Saying nothing was wrong. This went on for the rest of the month, and she seemed happy but distant. She wasn't distant with Jamarcus, though. Just you. I kept on trying to figure it out. <laughs> you picture this guy sitting at his desk covered with Funko Pops? <laughs> Just for trying to figure out what's the deal? And do everything that I could to keep her happy. Then on the last Saturday of November... Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> After I had a really long and stressful shift at work, I asked again while we were in the car after she had come back from her other boyfriend's house, who we'll call M. She told me she didn't want to come home that night and that the boundaries I set were too stressful. He said that it wasn't fair that I was holding her back from her feelings. <laughs> her feelings of getting her asshole pounded out. I understood that and told her they were only temporary until I was more comfortable. <laughs> hey, look, you could just live over there. Just, I just, just need to be comfortable with it. <laughs> that was what we discussed before we opened our relationship. I lost my cool and we had an argument about it. She left the car and called M to pick her up. I'll be right there in a minute. Don't you worry about it there, Bill. I followed her and got her to get back in the car, and then I fucked up. Uh-oh, what do you think this guy did? Do you think he slapped her like he should have? She told me she just wanted to stay with M for the night, and I said I wish he would just go away and die. <laughs> Imagine this guy sitting there all angry. I wish he would just disappear and go on and get. <laughs> Poor little guy. That's as angry as he gets, I think. I felt horrible as I said it. I didn't even mean it. And it was a dumbass thing I said out of anger, jealousy, and sadness. A lot of sadness, I'd imagine. <laughs> I really liked M. You know, other than the whole pounded my bitch out thing. But I was hurt by the fact that she didn't even want to come home after she... Gad? After she gad? <laughs> Spent almost three days with him, but it was too late. She wanted a break. Then she broke up with me three days later. <laughs> what a shocker! I thought they were. Uh, I thought they would always be together. I know I fucked up by saying that about M. I know it was shitty of me. We were together for six years. <laughs> Not any mo, and had an almost picture perfect relationship. Other than her fucking everybody. I never thought that we would break up because of Polly. I was excited to be in a triad with her and M and the other women, or woman I was talking to. It was awesome. But her feelings all changed because of M. She had her honeymoon phase with him and didn't like that she couldn't spend almost all her time with him. But she didn't tell me how she really felt until our shitty argument. <laughs> you mean when you lost your cool in the car? Mm -hmm. I didn't forget about that. She apparently just couldn't say 
it because she didn't know how to. This guy's writing was awful. <laughs> Even though we had discussed it many, many times at length, Polly requires way more communication <laughs> than a monogamous relationship. She's calling him on the phone while she's getting pounded out. Hey, I just wanted to open up some communication. <laughs> And we set things that we were okay with at first while we were easing into it. While Jamarcus was easing into your bitch. She couldn't tell me and it broke my heart that night. <laughs> you think anyone's reading this going, oh, poor little guy. There were probably other things that caused her to end it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But it feels like a couple that's planning to marry should be able to work through it. What, the whole cheating thing? That's nothing if you're getting married. Especially when one person couldn't figure out how to say what their concerns were. See, he's already blaming himself. It's my fault. It's my fault my woman got pounded out at some other dude's house. I'm not really sure what the point of this post is, other than needing to get it off my chest and maybe hear what you guys have to say about it. If they didn't call him a fruit multiple times, then... They didn't have the right response. Edit. Thanks for all the responses, guys. I didn't think this post would get too much attention. Lots of helpful info and insight. I really appreciate it. Well, that's a happy ending if I ever heard one, guys. <laughs> well, I gotta get the hell out of here. I hope you like this crap. I'll see you later, everybody. Bye.